before we begin today's podcast, we must say that this podcast may contain explicit language, content, or opinions. The stories, ideas, and perspectives of all that appear are for entertainment purposes only, and do not necessarily reflect the truth. Thanks, and enjoy. Three, two, one, zero. Okay. Alright, we'll start. Let's do it. Let's go. Alright, on today's podcast we have uh, two guests. Um, my first one is the f- one of the first guests and I've had on the podcast and he's one of the best tennis players I've ever had the chance to share the court with and one of the worst poker players I had to share the table with. Wow. Whether it's lies, bluffs, or just letting every no- everyone know that he's smarter than them, he's really just a <laughs> play against. Not wrong. <laughs> Not wrong. My yeah, second well, guest we is... We can Sa- swear, right? Yeah, we can <laughs> swear. I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Here we go. My second guest is Sam Parks, who is an interesting human being who seems to push the boundaries of how and why a man should think. <laughs> <laughs> Sam doesn't shy away from a good time, especially when the missus isn't around, oh, and she's not here tonight. Sam is also a West Tigers fan, which is unfortunate. Let's go. All right, let's roll the intro music. At least right, I didn't um, post her on the podcast. Jocko, you yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, welcome, Jack and Sam. How Cheers, buddy. Good mate. How are you? Walt, Walton Parksy. Um, yeah, good. Nice New to, setup. Yeah, nice to see the, old, it. the old humble abode. Yeah, yeah. Good Got the. Uh, the except posters up. Except that Denver Broncos poster. There. Yeah, that's one that I try to pull down, but yeah, that's that's a tough one because I'm uh I've Doesn't converted from a Denver Broncos supporter to a Tennessee Titans, so yeah, yeah. I've got that up. I'm buying Tennessee Titans merch, so um, love the crack of the beer, Benny. Yeah, yeah, got to make it loud. Culling bud. Um, yeah, so I'll run through my Hall of Fame behind me. I've got. Over my right shoulder, Tommy Shelby and Michael Gray from Peggy Blinders. Do you watch Peggy Blinders, Parksy? Oh, I did. Yes. Yep. Not yeah, that caught up, but yeah, yeah watched so the, it. So I printed this before the new season came out. There's been two episodes in the new season. It turns out Michael could be a bad guy, so. Ooh. But he's up there. Um, of this, course, above this him. This next one is controversial. <laughs> <laughs> above him. Oh, why would so you print yuck. a photo of that man? So yuck. The best looking man in cricket, I reckon. Um, Marcus Stoinis. Oh, Jesus. He's just... Fucking average player, mate. He's got the chest. He's got Healthy. the arms. He can bat. He can bowl. Can't make the test team. Probably got a big dick on him too, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> you don't reckon? I don't give a fuck. He can <laughs> suck me. <laughs> yeah. um, above me, of course, the two goats. Cooper Cronk and James Tedesco shaking hands as they do. Cooper Cronk trader. Cronk with a Roosters jersey on. Yeah. Yuck. It's so yuck. Yeah. He's Roos's junior, mate. <laughs> he can suck my so's, junior. So is Teddy, actually. <laughs> he can suck my <laughs> um, Barnaby. Oh, this is all time. Um, you can beat an egg, but you can't beat a root. Uh, Barnaby Joyce. The captain. Yeah, so. The great man himself. Yeah. I've fucking met Barnaby one night in a pub in Armadale. Yeah? My um, my mum was the uh, bridesmaid at his wedding. Really? Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah, full on. Oh, so she's, she's, she's definitely um, on the other side of the yeah, breakup. Yeah, she's on the other side. She said she caught up with Natalie a couple of weeks ago. She's uh, body, bodybuilding now. Wow. Yeah, like, yeah, that's fucked up. Absolutely, that. absolutely rigged. So yeah, that's funny uh, as. Yeah, I don't know what's going on but there. Yeah, but. He, he came into, we were on a pub night um, for college and he came in and he was blind. And you know the chick he ended up rooting, who was like his personal assistant? Mm. She was there. This is before it all happened. Oh. Anyways, he was blind and she was there to make sure he didn't say anything bad. So like, it was just after there was that big fuck up with the census. I don't know if you remember about it. Yeah. And like all the information got leaked or something like that. Anyways, it was like a couple of days after that, he comes in the pub and we're talking to him about that. Pran's a genuine bloke. He's a fucking yeah, good fella. I, I, actually, I met him twice which actually. You could, which you could tell in parliament. I guess. Yeah, yeah. You can see that he's a genuine bloke. Just... Um, and then she had all of his cigarettes in a, in a packet pre-rolled. Like he had rollies and she'd like, give him his cigarettes and light him his he was that blind like it wasn't i don't think it was like her job i think he was that blind he couldn't do it himself like good on him which is pretty funny and then the second time i'm what a man second time i met him because he went to college in armadale he went to albies so, yeah. yeah yeah well he loves that yeah. area it's the only area that 
can actually well, vote for him. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's the king. Not of that the we vote for him. We vote for the Nats or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> no, he he'll never lose there. I don't think they love. Yeah, him. no, he won't. They love him there. He won't. Well, that's yeah. That's the, sec- my, the second that's my, time. Uh, that's my uh, electorate. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Maureen. Oh, true. Maureen. Did Maureen New England? Yeah, New England. Fuck, I didn't know that. Yeah, for um, uh, uh, federal parliament. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the second time I met him, we were at a Thai restaurant in Armadale and he was there with the new missus and she was pregnant. And it was like literally a couple months after all the f- shit blew up. And, um, we said, oh, Barnaby, what are you up to? He goes, oh, not much, mate. Just moving house at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, like, oh, it's funny. It's, it's, uh, it's not pretty old Barnaby. No. He well, seems well, to, seem to have bounced back, but. Mm. He'd be right. And of course, Vladimir Putin run a bear. What does it say? To forgive the terrorists is up to God, but to send them up to him is to me. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> so That's bad. Very cruel. Yeah. He has got a rig on him, though. Yeah. Whoever photoshopped that did an amazing job. <laughs> All right. Um, so I'll go a quick run through of what I've got for the show. Uh, first up, we'll talk a bit of cricket and the Ashes is obviously going on at the moment. One all between Australia and New- uh, Australia and England. Um, we'll we'll discuss that. See what we reckon. Uh, talk a bit of NFL. We've got our draft tomorrow, boys. We do. We do. Yes. Um, Two thirty. Our fantasy draft. So that will be interesting. I've got no fucking idea what I'm doing. So unlucky. Yeah. yeah well, well, auto draft. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've done a bit of the, research. Yeah. All right, we'll get to that. Yeah. Um, talk a bit of NRL too. We're obviously recording this on Saturday night. We're watching uh, Melbourne Storm versus Manly show. game. Melbourne's winning twenty four six at the moment. Doesn't look like it's going to be any good. It's yeah. going to be minor premiers and with Tom Tavoyevich on the sideline in a sling. Yeah, apparently. potential broken arm. Mm. Is that just from looking at it? You reckon oh, it's broken? Well, the way he was holding it as he walked off, it looked pretty bad. Could have been that, shoulder. Did, it, no, it could have been a shoulder like that. Yeah, if it's a broken arm, he'll be out for the whole finals. No, if it was shoulder, it would have had it like tucked up. It, it was like as he was carrying it off, he like couldn't hold his arm up. And I true. when I when I broke my arm, I was like that yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, but Cooper Cronk came back from a back, broken arm. Remember that in Origin, he played. He broke it in Origin one, played Origin two. True. Well, we ain't going there. Yeah, broken arms. yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> How many have you done? Did one at uh, watching State of Origin actually. Watching state you broke your arm watching yeah. State Bro- Broke an arm watching State of Origin. <laughs> Wait, what's this yarn? Oh, back at, our, back at the old school there, we used to park up in the boarding house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah, all yeah. ages, used to watch it. And a few of the seniors used to get a bit excited. Country boarding house. Yeah. Bit of, it's passionate. Yeah. Um, then at half time, we used to have, so we had this massive common room with all the, everyone used to get their mattresses out and lay them in the common room. Yeah. yeah. have like yeah, wrestles yeah, yeah. and yeah, yeah. brawls and stuff. And something broke out on half time and i sort of turned around i'm on the ground i was tiny i was like grade eight still like, tiny i was like 40 still, kilos yeah, still yeah, tiny. i was smaller than i am now let me tell you and um one look to my right in the first 15 second rower has picked a bloke <laughs> up and <laughs> drilled him into my wrist and it's just busted in eight directions <laughs> and i've just started swearing my head off get me the I was going off. Was, <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. going to the hospital? Like, nurse, yeah. how'd you break your arm? And oh, origin. Oh, really? You, you played? No. Nah. <laughs> the, the ridiculous thing was, went to the medical center and she's like, sorry, mate, uh, another guy broke his leg today. We don't have a green whistle. <laughs> Righto. Had to sit in the front of the car to the hospital, go in there. Bumps like, and shit. Yeah, just sit down, watch the rest of the game. <laughs> Look up and New South Wales losing like 24, 10. Yeah, good. I'm just like, no, nah, get me out of here. This yeah. is not on. Yeah, so it wasn't a very good experience. That's a yarn. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> That's good. so good. Bad. <laughs> Broke my arm watching Origin. Yeah, watching it, Origin. It got fucking fiery in the boarding house, man. Oh, mate, especially because we like, you know what it's like. The country, country Queenslanders. Works. Yeah, the country, country Queenslanders. Queenslanders oh even country God. New South Wales, and it was middle of the Queensland streak too. So yeah. anything we could grab onto as a Blues fan, we would chirp. Yeah, and I do love a good chirp. Yeah, yeah. Every Don't now we all? Then. Don't um, we all? Staring a few of the old seniors up, but yeah, it was actually wasn't. It's kind of kind of sucked because it wasn't someone coming at me. It was yeah. just an accident. Oh yeah, true. You were nah. just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, it was it was bent up. But in in good. in oh. like, um, I don't know about yours, Parksy, but in our boarding house, there was like one couch would fit all the New South Wales supporters on it. So there was like I don't know, there might have been ten of us in the whole oh, boarding Jesus. house, right? 
TSS might have been a bit different because you're close, half, half, yeah, closer to the border. Yeah, probably half, half. I'd, I'd, yeah. Yeah. And so, like, obviously, Queensland just have that fuck off run. And Queensland win. Queenslanders would go and flip all the New South Welshmen's beds, oh, yeah, flip their yeah, rooms yeah, or anything. Yeah. Then that one year we won in 2014, we're like, fuck yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's do out, it. Queenslanders still go and flip our beds and oh, fuck our rooms. And just because we were outnumbered, yeah, we couldn't do anything about it. no chance. Nah, it was good with us. We had even. We, yeah. we were evens. And we had like half the seniors. It was sort of... Because that really dictated it, is how many seniors you had. Yeah. It wasn't really so much how many numbers. It was yeah. just the seniors because they yeah. kind of run the show. But. Yeah. Um, Needless to say, after that incident, we were never allowed to do it again. So oh, really? Like the wrestling and shit? Or? Hated me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they true. all hated me. True. Yeah. Even though it wasn't my fault. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll talk a bit bit more NRL. Um, team of the decades come out. We'll see what we think about it. Uh, I've asked the boys to bring a team of next decade. We're, we'll, um, I'm sure we'll butt heads about a few players there. Um, and then we might finish with a bit of tennis, Walt. The US Open's going on at the moment. Yep. Uh, we are watching Novak earlier today. He's looking pretty good. He's unreal. Yep. All right. Jesus. Unbelievable. So uh, let's get into it, eh? Right, eh? Okay. Um, so cricket. Um, <sighs> cricket, hey. How fucked is Ben Stokes? Oh, oh mate. My dad always says out. He's the, he's the, he should be an Aussie. Yeah. Like he just, his demeanor. Yeah. The way no, he played, right. he should be an Aussie. Yeah. He punched a bloke. Yeah, <laughs> that's not very English. No, it's not. It should be an Aussie. It's so not very key. Sort of, it's not very Kiwi either. Yeah, I've always sort of had that kind of like thing in the back of my head. Like this guy is good. This guy is good. Yeah, and then he plays like an Australian. Yeah, he just plays the game in in a how it should be played, I guess. Yeah, but like, he's like, I'd say since I don't know, maybe Jacques Callis retired, he's the first proper all rounder. Like a bloke, a bloke who's yeah. a world class bowler, in the world class yeah. batsman, yeah. Like. yeah, well, like can hold his end on both. Like, yeah, yeah, he can win you a game with the ball, and he can win you a game. Well, he, he, with the bat. so the well, he did win us. <laughs> yeah, the well, he did, he did and just the ball. He did just about both. He bowled twenty five overs in the third innings. Well, it was all is, him which, on that fourth day, a third yeah. afternoon when yeah. he bowled when um, Archer he, went down. Yeah, he bowled some fuck off spell like yeah, eight or ten overs in a row or something. Like Hazelwood can do that, but he's you know that's all he does is bowl. That was I, was, I was talking with a couple of guys, I, I, I don't know what you guys reckon, um, but the, so I watched that, did you guys watch the, the yeah, whole watch, that, yeah, yeah, the whole thing, like yeah. till it ended? Yeah. Oh, not till it ended, no. So like, just emotional wise, I sat down at the start of the ga- the, the day and you're like, righto, because it's eight o'clock at night here, you're like, righto, this would be good, good, good cricket. And I was glued, I couldn't move. Yeah. It was the best cricket yeah. Since I said to Jocko, I said it's the best cricket I've seen since Amazing Adelaide, probably. Yeah. Test cricket. Yeah, right. Um, and I, by the end of it, I didn't care who won. I, I really didn't because it was yeah. one all. We got yeah. Smith coming back. Yeah. It makes it more interesting. I kind of, as an Aussie fan, it's bad to say, but at least the Ashes are still alive now. If it was two, if it was two zip. Yeah. Yeah. The next yeah. That's the that's the thing. Like the narrative is like as like I'd take two nil. Yeah, I would too. Like yeah. we win the Ashes. So yeah. It's obviously but, you know. Uh, yeah, the narrative's, narrative's still alive, I guess. There's still that, you know, we're going on the next test. If there's a fucking draw next test, oof. Yeah, jeez, like, that last oof. one. But the, the last test is at the Oval, I think, yeah. Yeah, so it's always at the But Oval. if the next one's a draw, then we win. Yeah. No. No, because yeah. they can win the last one. No, they can win 2-1 then. Yeah, because it's, it's five, five tests. So it's it's 3-3, three, three, it's one all. Oh, true, yeah. That'd be, yeah. It'd be 2-1 and, and then two draws. No. If no, it's, it's one if all, both it's draws. One all. If they're both draws, if you're they're right. Both, if they're both draws, yeah. But if yeah. they win the next one, it's game on. Yeah, yeah that's that's right. If they um, win or there's a draw, it's game on. So they're talking about all these changes that are probably going to be made in the Australian team. Obviously, Smith's going to have to come back. Can't drop Marnus. No. No. 76 no, and a 75. I tell you what. 70, 70, three, three innings of 70. Yeah. I'll tell you what I will drop while we're in the Marnus is uh, he bowled that over before lunch. He's good leggy. He's Let's him out of the hand pretty good. Wait, wait, uh, that um, the, was was, that tour of India where we had like Aaron Finch opening and like just silly fucking team. Minus bowled, oh, minus sorry, bowled, Jesus. minus bowled a lot, of, a lot of overs in India. Actually, he's a really good yeah, leg spinner. He can hold his end. I, I just hope they don't do what they did with Smith. I mean, if he becomes the batsman, Smith become. I guess it's worth it. But yeah, they stopped bowling Smith. But yeah, man, that's handy. Him and Head coming in. Yeah, see, Head doesn't even bowl anymore. 
Yeah, like, he doesn't. No. Like, he, like when he first came in the one day team, he was bowling a few overs in the one days. Now you'd think he'd bowl more in test cricket than he does in one days. I yeah, for sure. I I can't really I rate him as well. But a I bowler. guess he just he just holds one end. Yeah. He's yeah. not really that stripe. He's, Whereas Marnus can get you that that those leggies, man. You've got a right hand you can't get out. Anyone who can bo- anyone who can land leggies is pretty dangerous, I reckon. I agree, yeah. He, he rips them right. Yeah. So while we're in, yeah, so you can't get rid of him. No, so so they're talking like Kawaja's either going to be moved to opener or dropped. Yeah, love That's that. what I've heard. Love that. Um, and All then in. and then Marnus to three, Smith to four, and then I but, don't love Marnus at three. I'd prefer to put Head there. I love Head at three. I want I, I want Head to play Test cricket for a long time, so I want him to be protected down at six. Yeah, I, I get that. Or but five, I just, sorry, five. I just feel like when he comes in. Yeah, I, I don't love him and Smith together. They sort of head and Smith. Yeah, they're too similar. That they yeah. both just knock it around, kind of thing. Yeah, but the right hand, left hand. They've sort of both got the same technique too. The bottom hand. Yeah, yeah. I love I love Kawaja at opening though. Like, yeah, well, um, something like his last seven innings that he's opened, he averages ninety. Well, he comes in and gets thirty. Like yeah. that's what he do- that's yeah. what he's been doing. And Besides, that's valuable like, at the opener. Like, like I don't care if you won for fifty. I'd say the next five years he'll be batting three every test in Australia, but that's because it's in yeah. Australia. In Australia, he, you can't get him out. Like. No, you can't. <laughs> um, no, I'm with you. I, I yeah, no, I love Kawaja. I, I I reckon Warner, Warner, Kawaja, Marnus, Smith, Head, Wade, Payne. No, nah. they're not going to drop Tim Payne, mate. Get rid of him. Shouldn't be in there. Shouldn't have been in there from the start. I think. Let 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 Smith captain the team with head with the badge on. That's all you do. Yeah, I think Tim Payne's been the captain we needed over the the saga. It's yeah. like since Warner and, and in the Smith summer, have been I gone. agree. But the like the now little. now Smith's back. He's batting. Well, he can't. Unbelievable. Smith, yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. Give head. Yeah, I just say give head because he's going to get it when Smith goes eventually. Yeah, that's yeah. the next in line. Yeah, so yeah. I don't see the point of going back going, to Smith. Yeah, and, going back to okay. Smith. I, I just. I just think give it to give it away, give it ahead. Sorry, why? <laughs> I don't know. I think Smith will get it after his suspension's done. I do too, but I'm not, and I I got nothing wrong with that. It's just that if you made it, to, if you gave it to Head now and made Head the vice while Smith went back in yeah. six months' time, yeah, it, it's he's still there. Do yeah. you know what I mean? He's still in that leadership group, and he gets that experience of. I just I just don't see the point. Like Tim Payne, he's a great keeper, but. We saw the we, yeah. well best best hands in the country. Would you say, boys? <laughs> best hands in the country. I'd say okay. so. Yeah. Best yeah. looking, Probably. best looking keeper. Anyways, yeah. Best, uh, best chat too. Yeah, great chat. Can't undervalue the chat. But um, no, I don't like him. I don't. I don't think. Uh, no, I, th- I, I think overly I think, aggressive. But I just I think, don't really um, understand it. I, I think Alex Carey's the fast period cricketer. But I agree. Yeah, I love I Alex think, Carey. I think, I think. Um, I don't think Tim Payne will be dropped anytime soon. I um. I don't think he will what either. For the, for the record, I don't think he will. No. I just think he should. No, yeah, I agree. Because um, imagine if that how much stronger that batting lineup is if Wade holds the gloves, and you bring in yeah, yeah. or Kerry holds the gloves. Yeah, he's average, that's an extra ten runs. Yeah. yeah, like. But I was I was listening to um. Or Wade holds the gloves and he played Bancroft the, again or whatever. Yeah, yeah, it is. yeah. The um, great cricketer podcast and they were talk, they were saying, like Australia's finally figured out a lot of countries did it but that you know since gilchrist they've been looking for this keeper batsman yeah. like they've been looking for the best batsman who can keep yeah. but now they're sort of going right oh, we need the best keeper the who keeper. can bat yeah like i can see the value in that like yeah. you see you look at well england right now in the opposite situation yeah. they picked butler and bairstow yeah based off batting yeah. none of them can keep to save themselves yeah well and i think i think dropped probably two two catches probably yeah. this test that you'd say tim Payne would have taken yeah, in his take position it. So I think Butler's a better keeper than Bairstow, but obviously not if that's... Mm. Well, I haven't seen enough of Butler or, keeping. Or, but yeah. or I was thinking Butler's a better fielder. There's something with Butler in the, in the keeping... Pa- keeping. Yeah, because he's definitely Because Bairstow better. did his finger, hurt yeah. his finger one time, and they didn't even swap Butler in, and he was clearly... Yeah, right. ...feeling yeah, yeah. it, and they didn't even swap Butler in then, and I, so I don't really know. Yeah, they must have him, like, sort of... Mm. Unless ...key hold as a batsman only. Um, Nathan Lyons now the third leading wicket taker in Australian history. 
Um, if we're still on the team, what, what do you guys reckon about the Stark saga? I don't think Stark will play a single test in England. Wow. I see. I reckon now's the time they play him this yeah, test. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I think the time to play him was at Lords when they had that hill, the slope in the pitch where the left, like a left arm bowler, yeah, would just can, be yeah, perfect. Can do a bit for him. I don't I, know. I, I, I think this is. We have Stark. We win that last test. Mm. Pattinson wasn't. I think if we have Stark or Siddle, I think he gets one with that new ball on day four. Yeah. Uh, and I think he he cleans that tail up. Yeah, true. But no, but I I like the Jack wasn't Jack doing Leach, much. Jack Leach faced eighteen balls in that hole. Yeah, like, but like but, he didn't. If he faced a few more balls, it would have been like, oh yeah, would have been. But he didn't face that many balls, so I don't think anyone would have gotten him out. Yeah, you know, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, at the end of the day, that test we didn't bowl well with the new ball, but yeah, I just I just I don't know. I feel like Stark's there. He cleans that tail up a lot quicker. Yeah. Than, well, Pattinson didn't do anything, so. Yeah, Pattinson was Pattinson Jesus, was um, this team is how good. They just scored with a man on the in the in the bin. In the bin. Easily um, too. Yeah, so Gaz's third all time Australian wicket take up. I've done a f- crunched the numbers for you boys, all right? So Glenn McGrath's obviously second. Yep. Okay. So he's got uh so he, Gaz has got 357 wickets. He needs 206 to beat Glenn McGrath. 206 more. Jesus. I know. That's but a big gap. I know, I know. But I was thinking 31? it's an even bigger gap from McGrath to Warren. So oh, he's, yeah. he's, he thir- he's 31. Warren. Actually, I saw a stat the other day on Twitter. I don't know if it's right, but he has more wickets at this age than Warren did at 30. I, that I might know. be worth being checked, but I don't think it's yeah. far off. I think he was... It's probably true. I saw it and I was shocked. So, I, unless the source was wrong, I'm pretty sure I'm yeah. remembering it. He has more wickets at 31 than Warren oh. did at 30. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even Warren, know Warren started up. pretty young, though. Like, Yeah, but he was in and out. Yeah. They had Stuart McGill for a while there, didn't they? Or someone. Oh, no. Nah. Warren, was, Warren was the key man when um, McGill was around. No... Warren was in and out because Steve Waugh hated him. And apparently. At the end of the day, apparently. Doesn't, age doesn't really matter. It's more games played than... Yeah. So, yeah. So, I've done... Gaz is 31. He's played 89 tests and taken 357 wickets, right? So, that's four wickets a test. Around, let's yeah. say around. Yeah. That's he de- fair. That's he fair. debuted in 2011. So, he's been playing for, you know, better part of eight years, nine years. So that's and he's played about twelve tests a year, right? So you'd you'd say, you'd say, um, Cam Smith's the goat. Cam yeah, Smith, <laughs> that's what you'd say. No, hate that man. He's um, so good. He wasn't that good at kicker till like last year. So, um, just because he's but the NRL bought his wife a ring. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about Twitter blowing up about? Oh that? my god, did they blow up? <laughs> Jesus, anyway, I met her. I met her the other weekend. His wife. I told you. Yeah, yeah. I met Cameron Smith the other weekend. I went down and saw that's Crofty so in Melbourne. Oh, yeah. I was down that's in Melbourne so and we went to one of the post-game functions. And that's so good. It was the first bloke I saw. Anyways. All right. So back to... Yeah. Can you just listen? Four right? wickets again. I've fucking spent a long time figuring this out, okay? <laughs> I can tell. I can so tell. So he's 31. He's played 89 tests and taken 357 wickets. That's four wickets a test, give or take, you know, 0.1 or something like that. Debuted in 2011. He's played pretty much every test since then. So it's about... And it's about 12 tests a year. So he needs 206 wickets to beat McGrath. So at four wickets per test, at 12 tests a year, it's 48 wickets a year, right? Yeah. So let's say five times years. that by five years, which will mean he's 36 when he retires, which isn't yeah. out of... No, not which for isn't spinner. stupid. No. Yeah. Mate, it's just these ones. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. Them. Bowling big overs, but no. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, but th- I agree. No, he's, I agree. Not, he's not the fittest bloke in the world as yeah. it is, you know. No, he's I still agree. fucking... I agree. So, so he beats McGrath. Beats McGraw- if he plays till 36, I'd say he beats McGraw. And, you know, he averages, let's say he averaged four wickets a test. He's better than he was at the start, so he's only going to be like... Yeah, I, I think four is being very safe. I'd say, yeah, I'd say he takes about five now or yeah. something like that. It depends where you it's play. It's doable. Yeah. It's doable, but... The thing with him is he takes wickets anywhere. That's yeah. the thing. He yeah. Just keep on fat decks, yeah. he, he'll... No, when has a spinner ever been able to take... <laughs> Prolonged amount of wickets in Australia. Yeah, well, besides Warren. Well, besides Shane Warren, yeah. Besides Shane Warren. No one. Everyone no, has struggled that's come to Australia. Every 
every touring Mate, team Australian ends up dropping Australian spinners. Spinner. Australian spinners fucking struggle in Australia. Yeah. The only place where they but thrive is Sydney during Sydney. that fourth test. Well, the Sydney pitch is fucked at the moment. They're True. talking about bringing in um, drop-ins and yeah. shit. So. But, I mean, it's just, he, and he takes wickets. He just finds a way. Yeah. Overspin, flight. He just, yeah, he's, he just keeps doing it. He, he terrorises left-handers. If only he, could, uh, if only he could take a run out. Oh, mate. But the, the that's thing, so the, unlike him. Yeah, too. He's such a good yeah, fielder. I think exactly it's so right. harsh to put that on him. Jocko blames him fully, but I, I, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm on the armpits for that one. Yeah. That Joel, well, you want T Pain for doing the wrong DRS and not having no, any challenges. No, 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 no. See, I don't. I also don't fully blame him for that either because, you're like, eight runs to win or whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> And, that, and, that that, and they had that they had that sort of shitty review with it, like oh fuck well, and like this is the same thing. I listened to the great cricket thing again, and they're like, Whoa. oh no, this is big. Monster monsters injured, arm. monsters injured. <laughs> Might have to take him out of the team. Um, no, he's still in there. Um, yeah, I'm, like, I'll walk like off that, if he's not in your. If he's like, not your, I've got a red hot hooker coming when, up for you. Same, same. <laughs> when, hooker. Um, when when he when they bowled that ball, what? How many runs were there to win when they did that review? It wasn't. Eight. I think it was, it was like ten or twelve. Yeah, it was, not much. It was not, not a much. Lot. Yeah, and they've gone righto. Our percentage of give, getting him out right now is zero. If we refer this, we might get one percent, which is yeah. more more yeah. than we got right now, which is what they did. So and I if you're watching it live, it's also a different. It was a very different. Yeah. Like you, if I was sitting on the couch, I went off thinking that's out, yeah, yeah. and and refu- you reviewed it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like it's a yeah. different, it's a very different thing rather than watching a replay. Hindsight, it's a wonderful thing, you know? Yeah. Obviously in hindsight, you change your mind. Yeah. But on the spot, I don't blame, I don't blame Tim Payne directly for that. He did make some very questionable decisions. Yeah. That, coming, that, yeah. That, but uh, like how the umpire didn't give that fucking LBW. Yeah, I yeah. mean, world cricket, I just, just send it upstairs, man. That's yeah. a game changing decision. Yeah, yeah. Why can the umpire not just check it? Yeah, true. Why can't it's, the umpire just say, "I'm giving it not out," yeah, but check it. It's because like crickets, crickets all about like the um, traditions of the game, and they don't want to like oh let too much technology get in the way of the tradition. Blah blah yeah, blah blah. Which I get, but I mean, we're talking about an Ashes series. Yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. <laughs> um. Also, before we leave cricket, um, have you boys seen this? Oh, no. Look at this, got a screen. Yeah, got a screen. Oh, screen. the peel. Yeah. Look, so first of all, I just want to run through this. Whoever that, who's playing dummy half there, this is a Hold fucking... Hold on, should we tell the, the audio? Yeah, I'm, I'm, re- I'm recording it, so I'll put it like up. Oh, mate, but they can't, if you're just listening to it, you won't be able to see no, it. No, 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 like, because there's a video, oh, I'll put it like it. video on video and they can see it. Oh, touched it. So, they just scored again with another man in the bin. Yep. Crikey, Manly are gone. <laughs> Without Tom Travoyevich. Yeah. Um, and Munster injured. They no, no I, didn't, I don't think he came off. Oh, really? I think he's good. Um, so, yeah, who's? it's Josh Hazelwood, the Bendemir Bullet. He's a dummy half here. Look, <laughs> he's, he's look like he goes, oh, I'm going right, I'm going right. Jokes. Look at this pill, perfect spiral. Bang. On his chest. Oh, the chest. Smitty with his hat backwards and the sun he's on. Leaky oh. pass, don't like it, don't really like Bit it. Bit of a floater. Now, Marnus, does he... Is try. That a try. That's a try. There's downward oh, pressure there. Has he let... There's, oh. there's downward pressure oh. with the fingertips. There, try, oh, right there, can't, try. Can't really see I don't know, I saw a worse one overturn last night. Look at that. Is, try. Is there not separation there, boys? No. There, no was a worse, there was a worse call than that in the Bulldogs game. Or ten years yeah, yeah. If there's yeah, a referee yeah. on that field, are they sending that up a try or no try? They're sending that up. That's try. a try. They're yeah. sending it up. Try. And there's no yeah. evidence. But I honestly think it. they overturn it. You know, no way. Oh man. No, you reckon? Go that, back to that image. The bunker can do some funny things. All right. Oh fuck! What's going on here? The bunker can do some wild things. Can you like pause it and take that bottom bar away? Pause yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's lost it there. It's lost control. No. Yeah. No. So, that's that's a knock on. There. Stop. There's separation there. No, there's not. I reckon there is. Yeah. I reckon Sorry, there is. Sorry, Walter. That's a knock on. It's um, gone up a try and it stayed a try. Yeah, I think, I think if that goes up as a try, they, they keep it as a try. But what I want you to look at here is how shit Usman Khawaja's rig is. He's coming in the screen soon. Jeez, Marcus Harris can't talk much either. <laughs> no. Wait till you see Usman Khawaja. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> They are cricketers, though. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, 
All right. So enough cricket, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, um, it's sort of a bit of a... Um, geez, he sorted another one from the sideline. That's six um, of seven tonight, Benny. It's sort Smooth. of a bit of a... I don't know what you guys think about the break. Between the tests? They always do it between the third and fourth test. But they get the first three, like, bang, bang, bang. The like, last in Australia, one was in three Australia, days. In Australia, they do it. In Australia, they do it too. My only argument, the only reason why I bring it up is that if they if they had have shortened this gap and lengthened the last one, Smith plays that last test. Yeah. Three days as opposed to, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I just think... I know what you mean. I think, I think most places do it, though. They get the first three tests out quickly. Yeah, I get and it. And they give the players a break. Because they had a tour match, so the batsmen all had a, had a round. Yeah. I saw, I, something that's, on, that's I saw something on Twitter yesterday. Um, Mitch Marsh, one for 39 and 40-something runs. Yeah. Should he be in the test team? <laughs> no. No, yeah. That's, that's ex- no I, I, way. Against the fucking like, county team. He is not Ben Stokes. Do not put him in the team. In that, in that same game, Steve Smith scored 23, and they went straight to the yeah, batting got, nets. Got, and got out, Dave Warner. Got, out, got David down, Warner so he, and was like, right, I'm going to the nets and fucking... Give me some throwdowns, yeah. boy. He like a 1,000 balls a day. Yeah. Oh, that's how fidgety yeah. is he when he bats? Yeah. We we're talking about our last podcast, but what yeah. about the antics yeah. after he leaves it and just like? Well, they're all <laughs> doing it now. Manus is doing yeah. it too yeah. now. They're have, all itching have, at it. Have you seen? Um, oh, it's not Kelly Ambrose. It's one of those. One of the West yeah. Indies West players. Indies players. Yeah. They did it afterwards. Oh, he looks like a bowler too. He doesn't look like he's a natural player. He no, just he's got, no, no, he's not. It's Joel yeah. Garner, I think, and he's is a bowler. It? Yeah, right. Um, right. Yeah, so um, that's a great victory for Melbourne Storm, thirty-six. Yeah, huge, huge. Yeah, it's a big victory, but I don't, I don't give it that much merit. Not after Trebovich. I think he yeah. went off like after ten minutes. So. It's at Brookie yeah. though, so I mean that's a good effort. Yeah, that's not bad. It's a good effort. Not bad. I've been punting the Storm all year. I don't think I've tipped him many times at all. Really? Yeah. When are you thinking silly, they just man. weren't that's the same? Well, I, I just thought Cam Smith's decline would come sooner. But obviously, <laughs> I was wrong. Nope. Very wrong. He might be in my team of the next decade. The way <laughs> oh, that was my red hot one. That was my hooker. The way While he's giving it away. He was my hooker. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, let's put another no, one. I mean, do you think he's got two years max left? I'm talking max. Yeah, and he's probably still the best hooker of the next decade. Oh. Playing one. Well, one, one you year. can say the same thing about Damien Cook. He's yeah. that good. Yeah. He only needs five years of being what he is right now. And yeah. No, you're right. You're He's right. been pretty average though lately. That was my Last thing. Just doing that team actually. When when we we'll get to it, I guess. But yeah. Um, talk a bit of NFL first. Um, oh, here we go. Light me this, up, baby. This Let's could go. this could get hectic. Um, this could get heated. First of all, before before we start talking I don't too give much, away my secrets though. How, with that. how um before the draft? Well, though. I want to talk a bit of draft because I need to learn a bit. It's all right, it doesn't. I'm sure me. some of the listeners have no fucking idea about NFL. No, they'll obviously. probably yeah. skip this part. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. no, um, first of all. How good is Aaron Rodgers' like pregame get up? Oh. Well, not pregame, but like training get ups that he fucking yeah. wears. Man, he's, a, he's he's the man. He's the man. Yeah, yeah, but I wouldn't want to coach him. No, yeah? Matt Lafleur, the Titans' offensive coordinator from last year, is now their head coach. Yeah. And and from all reports that I've read, he's like a passive personality, and I don't think right. that'll go well with Aaron Rodgers, who's the alpha male, yeah. runs that team. Got his last coach booted. He's just there's Tommy there. Oh, yeah, no. that that's broken, mate. That is broken. His hand is limp as. <laughs> oh, that is so brutal. Tommy T. Um, I hate that. Yeah, but like credit credit where credit's due for Aaron Rodgers. Fuck, he must be a funny bloke. Like you see the outfit that he did the Happy Gilmore one yeah, where yeah, he's yeah. like, oh yeah, the other day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He will go to sleep. He, he talks the talk. You, you will go to or sleep. I will make you Otherwise, go to sleep. I will put you to sleep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he talks the talk. Let's see if he let's see if he walks it this year. Well, I've got him as my MVP. Yeah, I, I don't. With I don't hate very that. very little no, yeah, idea. I don't hate that. I don't. Hate very that. little idea. Him yeah. or Drew Brees. I think um, him and Lafleur Drew Brees on the decline good. this year. Don't say that because nah, I was going like to draft him. <laughs> no, nah, I like the same. Hey, I, I like the Benny. same. Like this redemption. Redemption. You ready for the first hot take? Rash call last yeah, year. Yeah, okay, give it. Swing it. My MVP of the 2019 NFL season. Pat Mahomes. Marcus Mariota. Is Julio Jones. <laughs> oh, oh, isn't he no. old? It's just nah, not uh, uh, Mate, he's the best wide receiver in the NFL. He, 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 might, go, he might go for 2,220 touchdowns this year. I think he'll go off. T- touchdowns. 2,000 touchdowns. No, 2,200 2, yards. Yards, okay. A receiver's not winning it. It's just not happening. Yeah. No. I'm, that's if a, I had to pick a non-QB, it's Saquon. But other than that, it's not, not going to be Saquon no QB. Barkley. 
Pat Mahomes. No one's talked about him. I'll put him as my I'll favorite. Put, oh, MVP. He, he could, he I'll could, put him as my very rarely, very, the year. Oh, very oh no way. Wow, yeah, don't like very it. rarely. Well, it's isn't it like an MVP per uh, curse? It's like if you get MVP, you very rarely do well no, the next no, season. No, I'll tell Madden you what. Curse. Yeah, I was gonna say that's my that's my bust thing. Is the Madden curse? No, it's oh. a, not a thing because Tom Brady broke that and he won MVP, won the Super Bowl the next year. Yeah, yeah but he didn't win but the like, Super Bowl that year. But yeah, he did like, kind of break. I, I, it, there's no, I don't think there's any other sport like um. There's no other sport like NFL and the fact that. Like, you could win an MVP one year, yeah, and yeah. then the next year you can just be trash. Like, yeah, Matt Ryan, yeah. Matt Ryan, what, two, three years ago, won MVP. And you learn that when you come straight into it, like what you say. Yeah. I'm new to NFL. I was as well. I only watched it two years ago. Yeah. And that's the first thing I picked up as well, is that it's so different. You can't go off last Dif- year. Like, like, besides maybe... Cam Newton's but, another one as well. When yeah. he won MVP, he besides, was trash next besides, like, three um, years. Besides, like, New England, very rarely are the two of the same teams in the yeah, next in the exactly. two Super Bowls. It's so fucked. Like, yeah, it's crazy. Like, NBA, there's a lot of movement and stuff, but roundabout, it's usually the same teams yeah, that are good. Yeah. This there's year's one the, or two. This year's the, the first year that's yeah. sort of broken that, like, yeah. where there's going to be a heap of different teams. Well, hardly, because it's going to be the same two teams in the grand final. Same two teams in the finals. Grand final. It'll be the same two teams in the grand final this year. Yeah, yeah, and the, yeah. yeah it's called the finals in the NBA. Wait, oh, you're talking about NBA? I think oh. you're talking about N- no, no. I'm NRL. saying like, like I'm saying like NBA is sort of the same, where it has the same. Oh team. yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, I, I'm sorry, sorry. Yeah. NBA is opposite, where it has the same teams most years, but this year it's yeah. going to be different. I'm with you. Um, it's just because the rosters are so big. It's yeah, so yeah. it's so much it's, money in it. Like it's unbelievable. You can like a rookie, a rookie defensive back can change your entire season. Like Derwin James yeah. last year for the Chargers. Yeah, like he can one good rookie. Like Darius Leonard for the Colts. Is it just literally one player, one rookie to come in can yeah. change a whole team. Yeah. This year, Devin Bush. Well, Pat Mahomes. Yeah. Was, oh, was, was Pat Mahomes' Oof. second season last year? Second. Yeah. yeah second yeah. year, and he's won well, first year. That's, first year, full starting. Yeah. Like, like he and he played a couple of games in the season before. It's that's wild. Just, like that's just ca- wild like, to me. Like l- put that into perspective. That's like Kyler Murray. Yeah. Coming in this year. And taking his team to the playoffs. Well, next year, next year. Next year, or if he redshirted all year. So if yeah. someone that sat all year, I don't know who's the quarterback from last year that sat all It'll year. It'll be more like a, a Dwayne Haskins situation this year where if, for the Washington Redskins, he'll sit behind Case Keenum for the first 10 rounds and Case Keenum will just be shit and then he'll come in, play the last six rounds and then like next Jacoby year... Brissett, Brissett maybe. He's played before, but yeah. like if he came in and just lit it up. Yeah, it's very it's variable. The... But the, the, the Kansas were, were a good side before that. True. Yeah, With Alex Smith, Smith had them bowling. Yeah, that was still good. I, yeah. th- I remember the first Monday night game I ever watched was Kansas Patriots, and they beat the Patriots, and the whole world Ooh. blew up. Yep, yep. And um, this is before Pat Mahomes. This is before Pat Mahomes. This is Alex Smith. Yeah, that was yeah. the first game of the season the year before. Yeah, that's right. Very yeah. first game. So that that's why I say not a bust, but uh, yeah, fifty touchdowns. Yeah, five thousand passing yards. Shan't be doing that again. No, you should not be doing that again. There's this Curry kill rumors too. Uh, he's a lot of their offense. Um, yeah. I think their defense is better, which is gonna. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so was Pat Mahomes the leading point scorer in fantasy last year? Yes, for quarterbacks. For yes, quarterback. Who but was, I'm pretty who sure was he was lead? even. It was, I think it was Saquon. Because oh, otherwise, I he wouldn't Pat be Mahomes going one. Was the lead, like overall. no Actually, running back Kamara. Skip. No, he's a Saquon. Running backs get the most points, then okay. wide receivers and quarterback. Yeah, then. okay, okay. I know Pat Mahomes was 300 plus. Yeah. See, why? See, he's still... I can check. I, I don't have my cheat sheet. My cheat sheet's up there somewhere, but... He, see, Pat Mahomes is still like 30th on the cheat sheets or 20th or Yeah, something. but that's because you have so many QBs. You can take Kyler Murray in the last round. Last yeah. year, I took Philip Rivers in the last round. He was like the top eighth best scoring quarterback. Yeah. So you just don't take a quarterback unless you want Pat Mahomes. Yeah, yeah. Which is obviously some guys. But if he, if he end. did, if he did so well, I thought he'd be high. If he did, no. See, he, that's the thing. It's just people that have so much hype on him. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if it's gonna let me look at them now, the players. But see, I took last year. I took uh, Andrew Luck. Rest in peace, Andrew Luck. <laughs> Andrew Luck. <laughs> oh. Bro. That shocked the world. His retirement shocked the world. Nuts. We that, were I'm playing golf when one. we heard it. When you were like, oh, wait, Andrew Luck just retired. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah. I, I was, yeah what? Actually, that's right. I yeah. was stunned. Everyone was stunned. It was so unpredictable. And especially when he's just come back from four big injuries from the last four years. Done all his rehab. Seemed to get through the end of the season fine. 
And then he's in the prime. Yeah, I'll have another one. He's in the prime of his career too. Just come off a great season and then that happens. Um, yeah, I've got a couple of minutes left. What was the Wait, scoring like last year? This, eh? yeah. Just, yeah, right. I'm just wondering like, how, like length and stuff. So last year, the points, Paddy Mahomes, yeah, he had the most. For quarterbacks. 417. Nah, the most out of anyone. Oh, wow. There you go. So that's why he's gone so early, I guess. But see, then you got like Ben Roethlisberger, who scored the see, seventh most points that you can... You know, I'm in a six-team league right now. I can get him off the waivers. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, why would you take a quarterback early that's when you can go... Why would you take Mahomes in the 30s when you can go get Murray Cooper? Yeah. You know what? I took Ben Roethlisberger last year on, off the waivers. as a, He was a free agent, whatever you call it, off the waivers. Free, free agent. agent. And I was like, Ben Roethlisberger, I know, like, I don't know many people. I knew who he was, so I thought, he must be good. I had Andrew Luck already, who was good. He was a fucking gun. And I brought in Ben Roethlisberger, and he fucking killed it. And I was like, oh. Like, you pick him up off waivers, and you go, what the fuck? But that was that was because um, the waivers in NFL are crazy. Like, <laughs> last year, well, I'm pretty sure you could go get... Um, Denver running back off the waivers. Oh, Two Philip years Lindsay. ago, you could get Pat Mahomes off the waivers in that yeah. year. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, just wild. Like, this year's going to be the same. Like, imagine if if it comes out in two weeks' time, Zeke's not playing. Like, I know it's... I don't think it's likely. I actually think he comes back week two, but... What do you think of that whole Pollard, situation? Uh, he's not holding out for two years. No. It's just not happening. I don't care what... I think for Le'Veon... <laughs> it's completely different to the Le'Veon Bell situation because he... He played. Out. He played. He did the same thing, but played. Two well, years out. He played that next season. Yeah. Then he sat out his last his contract year season. Yeah. See. So then, that's where Zeke is now. He he's holding out. I think he flinches week one. So he so he holds out week one to sort of press the button, like press their buttons, and if they don't flinch, he just comes back. He has to. He's not not playing football for two years. Yeah. They're not trading him. The Chargers know. are a different story, see. I think With the Chargers Gordon. trade Gordon. I actually think he goes to the... Hoop. I actually yeah. don't think it's a it's a big loss. I think Gordon scores a lot of touchdowns, but he's not a huge loss to the not Chargers. As big as Zeke. No because way. their running back depth is so much better than the Cowboys. Like, they've got Austin Eckler. Yeah, um, I agree. They, who's their other... Um, the, they drafted the rookie, didn't they? They did. Oh, Justin Jackson. Yeah. He's good. So, so, I agree with you, but I actually think Melvin Gordon goes to Texans. Houston. You rate that. For um, Clowney. Lamar Miller. Clowney. Straight yeah. swap. Uh, Clowney, oh. I do that if I'm Texas. Disappointment. I reckon Clowney's a Mate, disappointment. That, they do that trade, they win the division. No doubt. Yuck, no. No, no doubt. No, no. Just because you had a running back doesn't mean you get an offensive oh, line. Man. Mate, the Texans, Watson. Mate, the Texans offensive line is so bad. It's the worst in football. Mate, you don't need that with Deshaun. Oh, you do. Nah, <laughs> you do. Otherwise, no you know what happens? Otherwise, you end up with an Andrew Luck situation. You don't protect him. He gets hit. He gets hit. But they have the a Sean Watson. O-line. No, they who? Quentin Nelson. They got one good player. Now they now they've surrounded him with good players. Um, Glowinski. But now they've got yeah they do now yeah the, the, the yeah the Colts O line which is why the Andrew Luck um, retirement shocked everyone because they, have they finally O-line. fixed the O line. Yeah. The receivers are solid. They've got the Ryan Grant. Hey, this um, is the best team he's had. Yeah, this is literally the, the best coach receivers and O line he's had. And they so won they, a they finally game last year. Yeah, they finally protected him. But it's the same situation in the in the Texans, mate. They got no offensive line. Deshaun Watson's going to keep keep getting hit. He's going to get banged up, and before you know it, he might be he might be yeah. retiring early or be injured for an extended period of time. When so you, he is one of the best talents. So you're saying that Andrew Luck had no O line, had no he, offensive line. He got yeah. hit so often, he got smacked a got, lot, got hurt a lot. Yes. Which just Sean Watson has done in the last two years. That's, yeah, he but had you're an saying, ACL. But you're saying now Andrew Luck would have had a good O line. Yes, he's got a good O line now. They were and in the top retires. eight last year. He's got the best, and he retires now. offensive yes. lineman in the game, pretty much. He almost. come in last year to give, to give you some perspective and some perspective to people who don't know anything about NFL. This guy, Quinton Nelson, went to the University of Notre Dame. Come in, was the eighth pick of the draft. Yeah. Come in, was an all-pro. Yeah. He's, his first year, he's, meaning he was a top two player in his yeah. position in the whole three. league. What, this is this is at the Colts? Yes. Yeah. And now they've... That's why I think they've actually pretty good value this year. I don't I don't hate the Colts, but... Well, some... Who's that? Um, Colin Coward said they're still going to win. They're not conference. They're 
division, the division, division. division. Nah, see, I still think the Texans win. But no, nah, I got the, I got the Titans winning that now. Oh, of course, Wild has the Titans <laughs> winning that. Mate, you know what that he's team you know what he's just trash. Bought, you know what he's just bought. So we've just started recording this. Obviously, people can watch us at home. He's just bought a fucking big ass Titans rug. That's going to go in the middle of this. I can't oh, record Jesus. these anymore if he's going to fucking Not put that in the Titans camera. Argument, yeah, exactly. No. I wasn't going to put it in here, but anyway. Okay. Oh, you can Hell put it in your bedroom. No. Yeah. Oh, that's okay then. I'm sort of still hunting for my team. See, that's what I hate that. This is the one thing I hate about But I'm Parker. a fan of the sport. No, on, I don't give Saints, a fuck. If you're not born you somewhere and you don't, like in the NRL, I yeah, have my yeah. team. Yeah, yeah. I have my, uh, these are my, in my rankings of teams, it's, it's the Wallabies, number one. It's yeah? the Australian cricket team, number two. And it's the West Tigers. Man, it's a tough yeah. time to be a Wallabies fan. Yeah, no. That game of the day was... Tough time to be was... a Tiger supporter as well. No, man. We're making the eight. We're good. Mate, the, the... I've, got, I've got two West Tigers in the next team of the day. My decade, hot take so is the Dragons good. being the Tigers this weekend. Um, <laughs> Who the fuck do you have from the West Tigers that's in the team of the century? Mate, just team you wait. Just you wait. Fuck it's it. a bit of a left field one, Masters. but you can't no, deny it. be Masters at centre. No, fuck. No way. He shouldn't even be playing for the West Tigers. <laughs> no way. No, we're doing good things. We signed Billy Walters. Got that Did other, you? We got that other young kid. Um, that's. Did you see his highlights on going around the other day? That guy, that yeah, half that was where's, stepping where's everyone. Where's he? Where's Winner he? Manly or something? Yeah. In the Q can't um, we sign him? We're going after Arrow. Let's go. Um, <laughs> not gonna get Arrow. Yeah, Arrow but, and we got Josh Reynolds gonna be playing hooker for us next year. I think Josh Reynolds goes to Bulldogs next year. <laughs> that was brutal, mate. Seeing Jacob Little do his bloody. ACL yeah. the other night. That was yeah. absolutely brutal. Yeah. Poor bloke's had two shoulder recons. Yeah. Now an ACL. Yeah. And he's 22. Back to um, what you're talking about, where you like don't have your, you don't have any allegiances. Yeah. Like I can understand why you go for Tennessee now, is because yeah, yeah, I get that. Your brother's at Tennessee. Well, yeah. I go for New Orleans because I went to New Orleans. I've been to New Orleans twice, and I yeah. fucking love that. Probably my favorite place in the yeah, world is New I get Orleans. That. So oh, I go so for I go for them in the basketball. And the Pelicans, and yeah. So you got your allegiance. Yeah. And Jock, Clippers, because he went to he went to a, a Clippers NBA game. And he went to a Clippers game. Yeah. I've never been. I've never. Mate, the now, only the only allegiance I have to America is I like the Sixers because of Ben Simmons. Yeah. As most, you'd be like As fucking eighty percent of, of the yeah. Australian. But if Ben Simmons leaves and goes to anywhere, Lakers, um, Lakers, Lakers <laughs> I'll, I'll probably root. And I like and LeBron James as well. Like I'll yeah. go for whatever yeah, yeah. team LeBron James is on. Yeah. But, but you, you, I have teams you, I like. I kind of like it that way. Yeah. You just go for the sport. Oh, Watch I anyway. I don't. I think you need to definitely pick and stick. But, but yeah, it is. But, but no, no you need you need to pick and stick, not like this bloke. Who's <laughs> fucking oh, from this yeah. fucking, look at this. You got this on your fucking wall. And yeah, I went for them the first year I started watching, and then yeah, I had no, a I reason get it, to though. go for another team. Yeah, I get that. You've but done it with the fucking basketball too. Who? I went you, Memphis Grizzlies, and I've never gone away from Memphis well, Grizzlies. Well, you've always said you're going to follow LeBron and support LeBron. Yeah, but that's just supporting Jock, LeBron. Jock can help me with that. With, I've never said I want to go for LeBron. I'm with Walt on that too. I've ne- <laughs> I've gone with for Memphis the whole time, and how many oh, times I've been to Memphis? Yeah, Wall has gone for Memphis, and you've got yeah. I, got, I, I can tell you a couple Memphis. of times last year where he said this thing he snatched out of Memphis were up fifty thirty <laughs> at the half, and then I'm getting spanked by twenty. <laughs> um, yeah, but, but you, nice got, you got you got there, LA though. Rams shit as well, like because I went and watched an LA Ram, LA Rams game. Yeah, but see, that's like me. I'm just a fan of the game. I have teams I like, but I'm just. I bought a jersey. If you so I put a gun cool to my head there. and I said, "What is your NFL team?" It's the Texans, but that's because of Deshaun Watson. Yeah, so because yeah. the first ever game of footy I watched was Deshaun Deshaun Watson's national um, Clemson championship game. Clemson oh, game. Oh, that was so yeah. good when he balled that. the hell out and he went like what like fifth QB in the draft and I couldn't understand. Yeah, yeah. What was going on? And I'm like, I swear this guy's good, but I wouldn't know a thing. Yeah, and he was good. Um. He so probably wins MVP so you, if he does. So you'd say that's why you're so high on Trevor Lawrence as well. Yeah, I like Trevor. You'd say yeah, um, I like you, that guy. Yeah, Texans. If you had to put a yeah, if a gun to my head, it's the Texans. Yeah, and, and then, gun to my head in the NBA, it's the Sixers. Sixers, okay. But the stupid thing about that is, I also like the Celtics and their rivals. So yeah, it doesn't. Really I don't like doesn't the Celtics. Make sense. I don't like the Celtics at all. See, I hated them because of Kyrie, but I love Tatum. I hate Tatum. Is it really? <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely I love And Tatum. the other team too is actually Tatum. Utah. Utah's up there for me too. Utah, I like, I like Utah. Because Utah, Utah, you know what Utah reminds me of? The Jingle is like, Bomber. Is like that sort of team that's, you know, flies under the radar. It's almost like a manly. I was about like, to say they're the manly seagull. Like, they're like, <laughs> yeah. they're like, everyone looks at them and go, eh, you know, eh, no superstars. Yeah. Then but then they just fucking go and they, you know, win 45 games maybe or something like that. 50 games. Yeah. Well, they've got the core. They've got Gobert, Mitchell, and 
Jingles, and they've yeah. now got Mike Conley, which is yeah, I think they'll be good. Which, is, which I think is better than Ricky Rubio. He brings, I think that'll be bring, brings more than Ricky, Ricky Rubio. Yeah, did. top four seed. That's my I take yeah on them top four seed in the in the West. In the West, yeah, West That's is pretty easy. Though. No, I don't agree with that. Yeah, see, they jump up, but I do because they jump up. Okay, see, so jumps down. I think Houston jumps down. Oh, Russell Westbrook, really? So wait, so well, who are your top four then? If you got Utah in your top four, this is huge. Oh, look, without without. Without rolling it off, I think it's um, I think it's the Warriors still. Yes, they're I agree. There. I think they won still. I think Portland. The, yes, they're up there, and then I think what's it's this in the West? In the West, and yeah. then I think it's I honestly think it's Utah. U- Utah three. They're three or four. Did you just say Utah regular not- season? Yeah, I'm not saying they're gonna. They're top four chances wow. to win the title. So you've got them above the Lakers. Yeah, you got them above the Clippers. Yeah, mate, Clippers are gonna be about Paul George for what? six weeks. What? Wow. The Clippers are going to be starting. I cannot wait to Listen hold to you this. to this. You've Listen got Utah this. at three in the, the West. The Clippers are going to be starting Kawhi Leonard on one leg, oh, okay. being rested every third game. Okay. Patrick Beverly at 32 years old. Right, right, right. Before we start. And Jermichael Green. I've got, I've got, wow. The, I've got the NBA's power rankings for, um, for the West. Bring here. it up. Can you West? say that again? Who but hang on. This is also a different thing because this will be... Chance to win the championship. Yeah. I'm what, talking what regular we, season. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm talking regular season as well. Yeah, yeah. Top eight. Well, actually, so this, there's no, a team this, I forgot. This, so there's this, Denver's probably uh, three and then, then Utah's this is, four. This, this is West, to win the Western Conference. This is the power rankings in yeah, the Western Yeah, but Conference. that's still different because that's to win yeah, that Western is. Conference finals. But yes, I, yeah. if I was doing that, it would be different. But yeah. I still think Utah top five, top six, at least okay. in that. Oh, okay, so we've gone from top three to top five or six. No, no, no. Turn it up. Top four regular season wins. Top six to win the Western Conference. Um, right, let's You've got them in the top four in the regular season. Let's right. so. let's, let's have a look then. So we got right, Clippers so got, at one. Clippers at one. Denver two. Yeah, great. Utah. Oh, three. let's go! That's <laughs> huge. That is let's huge. Let's go. That's, That's huge. so wrong. <laughs> right, That's they've got him better. I'm, hold, I'm holding you to this. Bojan Bogdanovic is locked down. Yeah, that, that, I, I, act, I, that is a I, pick I, up. I like it. I like it actually. I love it. I like it. I honestly, losing love that Jay Crowd is a big loss. Donovan Mitchell. Is very very good, Derek Favors. He's the second rookie I take out of that draft now. He's very very good. Keep going down. Last week they were seven in this. What, I'm still surprised this? they put yeah. the Lakers last this far down. week seven. Yes, Lakers, Lakers four. Yeah, it's got to be got to be the Lakers there. Yeah. What's that um, tweet there? Go up. This is a pretty remarkable run of underachievement from the Jazz, who were statistically the second best team in the West last season. Let's go. Statistically second best. It's a hot take, but that's a. I, I don't agree with it. I see. What, I got, what's what's he running off there? Ex, like know. expected wins Points versus expected defeats. So they've they've won more of their expected defeats than anyone. That's what they're trying to say. Yeah. Or or you know roundabout. They have got the best defensive player in the league, no yeah. doubt. Yeah, yeah, hundred yeah. percent, hundred percent. Um, off. Penrith up four 0 against the Roosters. I tipped him. You, you did, Penrith. Yeah. I tipped it. Oh, man. All right. Hold, actually, All right. Hang on. Keep stay on this. So, we've got Lakers at four. Yeah, we've got Rockets yeah, at five. I can't hold that. Rockets at five. Golden State at six. six. Wow. See, I think, I think Golden State... See, Gold- Portland. What's with that? Portland, why are they so low? They this- literally added Kent Bazemore and Hassan Whiteside for nothing. Yeah, but I, I think they'll get rid of Nurkic. Nah, they'll keep Nurk. You reckon they'll have yeah. Nurkic and and Nurk's only Al, 24 Al man. Gone. Yeah, I know, but like why well, would that that white side's one year. That's a one okay, year yeah, lease. So yeah. he's gone. Yeah, yeah. Next year. He's on 30 million. Who's oh, I saw something like a trade rumor that um they're trading Nurkic for someone. Nurkic and uh they've got this young kid um uh uh Anthony Simons. Look out. Yeah. He's good. Six man. He's good. Spurs are always... That Zach Collins guy's a gun as well. They're always there, thereabouts. Yeah, Spurs. No, they, they're gone this year. Sacramento. Wait, go back up. Go back up. What does that say? Oh, key additions, assistant coach, Tim Duncan. <laughs> 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 that is so good. That's pretty funny. Um, I actually don't mind the Spurs. I forgot about DeJounte Murray. Sac- um, Same as Sacramento. Sacramento. Key additions, coach Luke Walton. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck, that's not a key addition. I fucking hate key that. Who's the key addition is uh, just Darren Fox. The key departure, yeah. Willie Cooley Stein to the Golden State Warriors. Huge. That's, huge. that's huge for them too, yeah. I think Dude, he's better than DeMarcus what Cousins do you mean? right now. What do you mean? That's huge good. That's that's huge good for the Kings. No, it's not. You reckon? Willie oh, Cooley Stein's a beast. Harry Giles 
will be twice the player Willie Cauley Stein is. Huge. I will bet my life on that. This Willie is Cauley-Stein this starts. is this is uh, obviously my team, the Pelicans. Ooh. Mate, you must be absolutely itching to watch this team this year. I'm itching to watch this team in five years. Mate, this year they are going to be fun as well. I, I, I don't know if I don't know if you guys saw. I put up a tweet. This is going weeks ago now, saying in the next five years the Saints and the Pelicans will both have championships to the name. The Saints need to win this year if they're going to win. They will Drew win Bruce this year. Win. Nah, I think they will. Mate, redemption. The story's there. That play last year. That was that was so bad. They should have. Most, that's almost that, that is that up is, there with that Nathan Lyon. Mate, LB. That is the worst appeal. call. That is the worst refereeing call in the history of sport. Yes, I, I think it's up there with the Nathan Lyon call. I don't think we're looking at this Nathan Lyon LB the other day with enough light. I honestly don't. Yeah. That call lost could potentially lose us in ashes. Yes, I mean. It's, that's probably a little bit bigger. They only play that every two years. At least the Saints get to come back this year. Yeah, but the, the, do they make the... It's not as valuable. Do, do they make the NFC, NFC Championship game again, the semi-final? Yeah, I agree. It's not but, as valuable. Like that, Winning the Ashes is not as valuable as winning an NFL Championship. Yeah. But in terms of scale... Oh, man. Do we want to look okay. at the East? Sorry for bringing no. that NBA stuff up. It wasn't really on the agenda, but no, I, I, I'm going to hold you to that. I don't know Utah when I'll be back Jazz on this podcast four. next, so I'll probably have to just throw some chats. <laughs> Utah Jazz top. If you four do a good job, you could be here. Every, you could be here every fucking week. Yeah, you know? Truce in the view, view the ratings. Or <laughs> yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, leave a like, subscribe, everyone. If you want to subscribe, just go subscribe to us on Apple and Spotify podcast. If you like Parksy, <laughs> leave a review. Let us know. We just got. I just got um, to outrank the Jocko podcast or what. Probably, yeah, probably, <laughs> probably. Actually, no. You know what? You know what? Yes, yes. yes. You are. You're doing better than Jock because you didn't fucking bail on us two days oh, ago. Oh, we're getting this Yeah, that, I can't hold you to that, Jock. That's uh, that's pretty average from you, brother. Yeah, Jock. If you're listening, oh, when I'm sure you will be. When he is. fuck you, I'm sure he will be. <laughs> yeah, boys, let's cheer it up. Let's do a podcast Saturday. Let's have a few drinks. Yeah, we'll yeah, go yeah. Out. And oh, like, and wait. like, even like four or five days ago, we yeah, said, "Oh, can in. we change it from Friday to Saturday?" He goes, "Yeah, sweet. Yeah, I'm sweet." In. And, and, then, fucking, and then now, where is he, Benny? And then I sent a message to Puxy and, uh, and him going, oh, this is what I'm thinking about doing. Can you guys, like, you know, think about this, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, and he texts me, he goes, sorry, oh, sorry, mate. Oh, fuck. <laughs> got, got dinner. Fuck, it's so slack of me, blah, blah, blah. So what have we got here then? Bucks, Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, I agree with that. Right, East, East, sorry. I Milwaukee agree Bucks, number one. West Matthews. Philadelphia, good. number two. Huge. Yeah, love it. With our Horford. Our Horford. Josh so Richardson. I That's what I was trying to think of this him. morning. Yeah, he's I good. Hey? He's a good dunker. That's what I was trying to think of this he morning. He reminds me of, um, is it Gerard or Gerald Green? Yeah, yeah, I can see that. He's like, a better just defender. Just fucking athletic as shit. He's like. a better defender. Yeah. Yeah. Josh Richardson is very underrated. Yeah. Like, he is oh, almost he was one an of upgrade, the best. upgrade over JJ Redick. He's probably not a shooter, but he's the better defender. Yeah. Talking about... um. Josh Richardson, we were having a... That's what I was trying to think of this morning when Benny asked me this question. He said, oh, talking about the 2K dunk ratings, who do you think that? has you the highest that? 2K I dunk saw rating? I Zion had 97. Zion's highest, the highest. He's the highest. He's, he's yeah, the I best... I don't agree with According that. to 2K, he's the best dunker in the NBA. No. That is wrong. Mate, you've got to give... Um, um, Zach Donovan, Levine or... Zach Levine. Well, Donovan Gordon. Mitchell or Zach Aaron Levine Gordon. was my first Mate, go. Zach Levine and Aaron Gordon deserve the best dunk rating in 2K till they're 50 after that dunk contest. <laughs> yeah. Two years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't oh, care what happens. Yeah. That Aaron Gordon dunk over the like, oh. Orlando Magic dinosaur looking oh, thing. Oh, that was the most absurd thing <laughs> when he was like, ever, ever on the seen. That's like, it's, like, it's like the best dunk since like the Blake Griffin one. Remember the Blake uh, Griffin Over one? the car. Over the car. That's I think that's better than that the one. The best dunk I've ever seen. That, yeah. that, I agree. That is the best dunk I've ever seen. Yeah. The one where he's jumped up, gone under his legs and dunked it. Yeah. Yeah, back, oh. and it was backwards too, but wasn't it? I'll tell you what. Uh, get used know. to the oh, bloody. The get oh. used to the Zion Williamson hype because it ain't gonna stop. No, no, I agree. I, I um, don't love it. I'm not. Uh, people are here on him. Yeah. I'm probably here. I, I think he's there, but the injury risk is real. He's See, he's in Blake Griffin's body. Talk me through this, right? So Zion Williamson's this prospect. He's got all the measurables. He's done this at the draft. He's gone one. Yeah. He's bought out for one year. Duke. Yes. Bought out for one year. He's athletic as shit. Okay, hang on. So he's got a little fat man body, but he's yes. athletic. Who's yeah. gone? He's not fat. He is fucking ripped. He's, he's he has fat. he has an, compared, no, he has an amazing some... body, amazing measurables. Right? Who's gone three? Parksy. Who got drafted three? In Cam the, Reddish. In the draft. Yes. No. Um. No. Um. My boy. Um. Knicks player. 
RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett. Uh, sorry, and, and then where did Cam Reddish go? He went ninth ten? or tenth. So three players in the top ten, right? Yeah, ten, I think. Talk nine. me through. No, ten. Rui went nine. Yeah, yeah I, I think it was three Duke players in the top ten. Tell me how they did not win the NCAA basketball championship. Yeah, but man. Uh, how? They have three players in the top ten going I think in the you're draft. coming at this from a college football See, perspective. I'm, well, yes and because no. Because the best team wins. But basketball were, were the University is... of Virginia the best team last year? I don't, I don't think so. In I, think they, I think they played the best in the biggest moments. I don't think they were the best team. Basketball, well, that's all that matters, bro. Basketball in college is 75% system and coaching. Getting and the best out of young players. Yeah. It, 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 Zion was out for... I don't know how long. I remember when he blew out his shoe. Yeah, that was. Un- that was un- Did you see that? I feel like, like I reckon that fuck Nike with him be, too. They, yeah. they, him and RJ can carry on as much as they want about Duke basketball. They don't give a rat's ass. Nah, no. fuck no, man. They don't. They're about to get billion dollar shoe deals. Yeah, mate. Zion, biggest biggest ever for a rookie. Yeah, RJ just got signed to Puma yesterday. Yeah, they don't care. Look, it doesn't but mean anything. Going back it doesn't to add point, anything to their value. Yeah. It doesn't increase their draft stock. It For them as individuals, says what I'm getting at is there's three of them, right, in the top ten. There's five players starting on the basketball court. Them guys play eighty percent of the time. Mm, yeah. Why? Well like college is a bit different than twelve minute quarters, but yeah, yeah, they play. Yeah, a lot. Like well, at twenty minute halves in in college, not not New But we're also quarters. talking about these guys like they are the top three. They are three players inside the top 10. Well, we may, might be talking about him in a year that RJ Barrett's a complete bust. Well, my, my we forward. might be, but... I, and then that answers your I, question. I don't see Zion being my, a bust. My, my question is why... I don't see him being a bust, but... I don't see RJ Barrett being I a bust. Are the, the, the Knicks, are the Knicks, he'll be the lead in school. Oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. I, got to, I love RJ, so I, I'm in an NBA Dynasty League, and yeah. we, we draft rookies every year. Yeah, I've yeah. got RJ this year, so... And oh really? Yeah, You're in the dynasty league. Dynasty. So you That's get yeah, fuck, guys man. every year. Thirty team are real salary. I got like Kawhi Leonard. I got some good rookies. But yeah, so I took RJ at three. For, I love RJ. I honestly think he's Ben Simmons with a jump shot. Not the passer. Not, he the, is, not but the defender. He's not the yeah. passer. I think he could be. Not the defender. But he's not the passer. No. No. But he's got a jump shot. I still, I still yeah. want to go Mate, back to this. Have, seen, have right. you not seen the pictures, fucking uh, the video that Fox Sports have been putting up? Like, oh, we see you, Ben Simmons. Oh, Fox Sports he hit like four threes Fox, in a row. We are not getting into the Fox Sports <laughs> argument. Let me tell you. Fox oh, Sports. I mean, I love Fox Sports articles. Fox, Sports, Fox Sports is as good as we're getting. Yeah, well, until Bandwagon gets going. <laughs> well, I was, you know what? I was originally going to call this the bandwagon. Oh, podcast. that would be huge. Yeah, that was a mad logo and stuff. We just, yeah, never, yeah. We who needed did, more content. Who did that? If any, if me. anyone's listening, who has no idea what we're talking about. Me, Parksy, and Jock, the absolute. Yeah, I don't know if Jock was really involved. Should we kick him Do- out? No. Nah, yeah, no, actually, argue let's, it. Let's put Walt in. Yeah, Walt, well, you want to you want to join bandwagon? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You're in. Welcome, Congrats, to, the, welcome, welcome. to the team. I'll we'll give yeah. you the Twitter handle. Um, we started this Twitter page called the Bandwagon. And we were, we were we were we uh, were we were sick and tired of Fox Sports having a monopoly over the market of uh, of sports media in Australia. Basically, we, we were sick and tired of Fox Sports retweeting a video of Val Holmes almost dropping a catch on the sideline, saying that he's yeah. going to be better than Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, well, that's the that's yeah, that's true. So we and it just turned into like a gift thing. It, 